what I love about multiple time frame analysis is how um, like a bigger picture can be broken down into a smaller picture and how things can come together like a puzzle piece, right? So what we're going to do today is take a look at CAD Swiss on a monthly, weekly, and a daily time frame, okay? Now, if you don't know what multiple time frame analysis is, I want you to think about the words multiple meaning many uh, time frame, meaning the time frame that we're going to view in the analysis is how you observe each time frame. Okay. So a lot of traders struggle with multiple time frame analysis because they say, well, Shaquan, uh, when I look on different time frames, they're doing different things or they're moving differently. And my suggestion is sometimes you have to break the time frame down a candle at a time or a section at a time. There's a difference in observing a full chart and just a candlestick alone. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Today is May 2nd and a candle just closed yesterday uh, or April 30th and now we're into uh, a new month, right? So um, my chart is going from monthly, weekly, daily. So the monthly is here on the far left. Let's look at this month's candle closure or April's candle closure, which was a very bullish candlestick okay so i'm just gonna put like a red tangle here so you guys can view this with me okay so this red tangle just basically means the full move for april it's just a bullish month that's what we know and so that means that the bulls have control for the month now what we're looking for is evidence of how price breaks down on lower time frames because with this candlestick alone we can't trade it right and i'm pretty sure most of you are not trading the monthly time frame meaning you're not entering trades on this time frame so what we're going to do is break down this candlestick so let's go to the middle chart which is the weekly time frame so we have one two three four april candlesticks and each week was bullish okay so as you can see with the wicks and the candle bodies price has pushed up 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 which means exchange rates are increasing now, I'm pretty sure most of you don't trade the weekly time frame, meaning you don't enter trades on the weekly. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. But what this also lets us know is that um, you could have traded this because if price is increasing up, that means we're going to get some fluctuations, right? So my ideal or theory is that on a lower time frame, price is trending. Why and how do we know? Because if we take a look at the wicks and the candlesticks, uh, bodies, they're getting higher and higher and higher, right? Now, as you guys are noticing, as I'm speaking, I'm saying price is going up, price is increasing, price was trending. My theory is that uh, this is an uptrend. That's it. So I'm scouting out the trend. Now, what you guys are noticing is that I'm not putting anything on these uh, monthly and weekly time frames for the time being. Okay, we can do that a lot later. But when you want uh, to find out how to enter a trade or where you're going to enter a trade, you're just trying to figure out how price has trended the last month, right? What's going on and how you're going to you know, anticipate your first trade for the beginning of the month. So this is where we're going to break down the monthly time frame to the daily time frame, okay? And from this candlestick here, April 1st to April, what is this, April 29th, uh, this was the last trading day of April. And what we wanna pay attention to is the trend. As I stated, price was going up, up, up. And this is the evidence of it broken down on the daily time frame, okay? So bullish candlestick, four bullish candlesticks, higher high, higher low, higher high on the daily time frame, you can see the full breakdown. Okay. So this is where now we can say, okay, we could have a potential more bullish information. Maybe we have another bullish week, but how would that look? Okay. So uh, what I'm looking for is because I can see a clear trend. Um, it's for price to stay above 0.7473s here because it's the last higher low i have my estimations on and uh if price can stay above and give us some bullish information i'm going to look to buy back up again to see if price can continue up now i'm going to wait for a daily candlestick closure to go in my favor because um i just want to see how price is going to continue to move for the day and also this is going to be a busy day today so i don't have time to trade this um on a lower time frame like the four hour time frame okay 
So, uh, yeah, if we get any bullish information on here today, uh, then, you know, I'm probably going to be anticipating another bullish week, okay? The only time I look for sales, you guys, honestly, it's not if price passes this zone. This, is, this zone just estimates where price can pull back to to highlight the entry, uh, but I don't sell unless there's a reversal on the daily, and the reversal only comes if we pass, this, if we pass the higher low here at 0.7473s. Okay, so I pray that this uh, quick multiple time frame analysis helps you with your own analysis going forward. And this is just a, a quicker way to just keep it simple. There's a difference in breaking down the full chart, which you don't need to always do, especially on a monthly time frame um, or even on a weekly time frame. Sometimes you just got to break down that one candlestick until you get your entry point and then you just go from there. But this is beautiful because all time frames are aligning. Okay. Um, and this is what it means to see that all time frames are going in the same direction. All right. So I pray that this helps you. Um, I pray that, you know, if you do trade this pair, you make money on her. Remember, always the trade come to you. And I will talk to you guys in another video. You guys be blessed.